Pew, pew. Huh? <laughs> well, hello everyone, and welcome to the start of my Total War Attila Saxons campaign. Many thanks to everyone at CA for allowing me to start this a little bit early for you guys. I'm very excited to be bringing this to you. So, I'm not sure of my game plan at the moment, because I'll have a look at my starting situation in a second. I'm going to stick with normal difficulty. From what I've played on Total War Attila so far, it is more difficult than Rome 2 for certain. Uh, my initial challenge is hard. We start in 395 AD. We have a cultural trait of the New Kingdom, which is the building conversion rate minus 50%. The Saxon trait, the Saxon Shore. So we get income plus 100 for every 10% damage caused to settlements during a battle. Wow, nice. Integrity plus 4 when raiding. Okay, great. So, their distance from the heart of the Roman Empire shrouds the Saxons in mystery, granting them the freedom to pillage and conquer as they please. While other barbarians fight over the scraps of the decaying Western Empire, the Saxons look to its northern provinces neglected and drained of troops. Britannia is an especially tempting target, having faced Saxon raids before, when its usurper Maximus commandeered its defenders. Since then, the Saxons have continued to be a fawn in the Rome side. A series of fortresses to the Saxon shore has even been established to guard against them, a minor obstacle to the well-marshaled and determined Saxon kingdom. Without further ado, I'll click on the start campaign, and I'll see you on the campaign map. The air was filled with smoke and blood. Rome was weak. The tribes grew in strength and number. Their roots went deep, and they felt the earth's blood pounding through the land. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust. They made ready for war. The South is in turmoil. Distracted by petty conflict and the westward migration of the Huns. Therefore, you should look elsewhere for opportunities. Rome has all but lost its grip on Britannia, ever threatened by Celtic aggression, so you should have no trouble establishing a presence there. A long cold creeping from the north is also driving its men into action. They are formidable warriors and could pose a great threat should they raid or attempt to conquer the mainland. Better, perhaps, to take the fight to them instead. Fight, win, and prevail, so the Saxons can carve their place in the annals of history. Okay, so, here we are. Let's get the advisor out of the way. So... Chapter 1, Preparation. They made ready for war. Survive until the following date, spring 400. And we'll get 2,000 into the treasury. So at the minute we're making 1,000 every turn. We're just over 1,000. And we have 26 food. Oh, we're lost down to fertility, actually. Okay, so let's have a little look at the state of my empire. 
I think I'll start off by researching the regional defense for all. Yes, regional defense force. My other option was the community property. Okay. So, in terms of diplomacy, we have military access and non-aggression with the angles. Let's see if they're open to some trade. Welcome, worthy. This option is used to broker trade okay. agreements. Once agreed, nice. trade route is open between your territory and that of your trade um, Payments. I will demand a payment there is no of 300. The number of trade routes a faction can have. Okay, we'll put that up to four, 500. Moderate. Lovely. Okay, so we've got 500 of them. Noise. Okay, so the Western Roman Empire, we are at war with. <laughs> are we at war with anyone else? Not at the moment, it doesn't look like. At least no one that we've met. But then how are we at war with people that we haven't met? No, you don't want a trade agreement. Let's see if you would like a non-aggression. No. Okay, you may have to die by the Saxon sword. But to start off with... I'm going to have a quick look at the... Your family's Here we are. Political power is determined by two factors. Uh -huh. Control and dominion. Your control over the political okay. situation and the elites is determined by your ability to resolve political matters and react to other faction events. And so, we currently balance the power. We have plus two loyalty. That's minus one to tax rate. Faction-wide. Okay. So, uh, we can't marry her off yet. <laughs> you, sir. Okay. Right. So, I need some companions to start off with. So, I may put Hengist in the, in the companion slot. We'll promote him to the office. Horsa. You can also be promoted. So, I'll promote... The other nobles to companion statuses. There we go. That gives them benefits. Hopefully it will give me a few further on down the line. Unless they try to rebel. In which case I'll kill them. I will kill them. <laughs> so he's my faction heir. He's currently unmarried. And he can't hold any office at the minute. Guis. Guis. He's the high king. I do love the helm he's wearing. Right. So who is leading yes. our fleet? So we currently have the Earth Shakers led by Guis and the Wolves of War led by Genghis. Now, I'm in a position where if I wanted to, I could just go and raid Camelodunum right away. And I may well do that, actually. What kind of garrison are they going to hold? Will our spy tell us that? Yes. Okay, so they have one ship. Some scout equites. Okay. I might be better off landing. Mm, no, no, we'll just, we'll just go for it. Oh, okay. Well, we have to land. Can't get any mercenaries currently. But we'll attack Camelodunum next turn. Probably raid it. If I'm honest, I'm not sure I'm going to take it and hold it just yet. I'm not sure if that's the way I want to go down in this campaign. Haven't really thought about where I'd like to attack. But I know the Franks will need to be dealt with at some point. <laughs> I've just decided that. So the army from Camelodon may make its way back and attack Flevum at some point. We'll see. Okay, so we'll upgrade certain things here. I'll probably get a artisan so we can actually recruit some... I wouldn't say amazing troops, but at least some moderately good ones. Uh, I'm also going to get, yes, plus 50 from reserves. We'll definitely upgrade the stores, unless... Ooh, that will allow us to have cavalry. Or skirmishers. Minus one to public order, but we'll get extra food. Additional food. And then I can also upgrade the stores as well. Well then. Good. Good. I'm not sure what else I can do this turn. I mean, if I if I increase the tax rate, oh, ho, 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 public order minus ten and growth minus one, and then if I really wanted to up the ante, but for the sake of like two hundred, I'll just leave it as it is, which is the minus four public order. Okay, so we set that in 
in pro to progress. So the minor victory is to control 30 settlements, maintain control of Frisia and Britannia Superior. Okay. So he wants me to hold on to these territories, take Flevum and Angolus. Right, so we may have my first two targets. After the Romans, of course. Okay. This list shows all the Thank you. Oh, I can set a provincial governor. I believe. Let's see if it pops up saying I can do that. Yes, I can. Good. Is the accumulated Elsa. Of a character within your faction, there you go. That'll be some good training for you, my good man. And now we can issue an edict. His actions are... Okay, because that's changed from Rome 2. You can now just issue an edict in the province. Uh, public order, research rate, construction. I'm probably going to go for... Hmm, army recruitment capacity plus one. So when we need to recruit troops, we can. But at the minute, it's a quit. <laughs> Apart from war dogs, war hounds, it's not an amazing selection, but they are just tier one units at the minute, so we can't expect amazing troops from the Saxons. To start off with, that is. Okay, let's see what the other factions are going to get up to. The Western Roman Empire, will they send a force to help Camelodunum? If they don't, more for them. And yay for me. Because <laughs> even... I may still even struggle to take that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so... We have issued the might of... Twee? Trade gained respectful. Lovely stuff. And we've encountered the Vandals. Where are they? Oh, okay, they're on the move down there. Let's see if we can have a chat to them. Hello. I would like to offer you non-aggression. Lovely. Pleasure doing business with you there. Um, who else can I have trade? The Longbards I could have trade with. However, you're not, you're not keen on me, are you? No. Hmm. Hmm. You're also not. F oh my God! No one's fond of me. The Danes. You're. You're not. You don't hate me. Let's obtain non-aggression packs where we can. Alamans, I have no cause to attack you yet. No. Well, fine. No, I know you won't. Stop it. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Ah, they're sending a force to intercept, eh? Right. There are no mercenaries. So I could go and take out that force first. No, I can't. I'm in the... Ah! Right, well, I'll... I'll attempt to take Kamala Dunham. If it goes poorly, I apologise. <laughs> I could auto-resolve, but I want to show you a battle. Okay. So it's Hengist versus Publius and Quillian. Aquilian. Aquilian. Aquili. Inus. <laughs> Man, I are so tongue tied. So tongue tied. I should be confident that I can win this. You know what? I shall be confident. We're going to win this. We're going to destroy them. We've got. A lot of skirmishes. That will go well for us. My infantry, hopefully they won't route straight away. But they are tier 1 units. So if they do route, then the chances are they will come back into the fight. I only really have to worry about the one, one unit cav. They will fall quite easily. Hmm. Come on. Yes, dry! In England! What are the chances? Good. Good. So here we go. I'll try and take that tower first, although apparently I should burn, and I get lots more income if I burn everything. Do you have flaming shot? 
It is useful to Good. Turn units into loose formation when they're being fired off. They will stand further apart. So I am the Saxons. We shall destroy. Oh crumbs. So they appear to be coming towards me slightly. Okay. Well let's get my Nordic band. Let's get their stats up as well so you can see their stats. The enemy approaches. What? Is he? Is he? Okay, well, I guess that was a stray javelin or something. So, we're firing into the cohorts, hopefully affecting their morale slightly. We're burning a kill. <laughs> right. Thank you, I'm aware of that. I will get my spears if I can. Oh, crumbs. Well, say goodbye to some skirmishers. I didn't know you very well. Yeah, as soon as I saw the cab, I should have brought them back. Alright. Enough screwing around, Alex. So, admittedly, I should have got my men in uh, into thingy Bob <laughs> skirmish mode. That's the word. Oh, they're going for the charge. Yeah, they're completely dead. Right, so they are routing. This should be going better. I'm going to switch the shot into heavy shot. I apologize. My apologies, I am making this look a lot more difficult than it actually is at the moment. Uh, it wasn't my intention. <laughs> suck straight away. Hopefully we'll get better as time goes on. Let's zoom into the battle now. There we are, charging in. can still try and get you lot around there but I think the battle's going to be over and we're going to win before we can cause any damage to the settlement really yeah they're gone I mean I could carry on and destroy the town but meh still a decisive victory woohoo despite the teething problems let's call them teething problems I mean we only lost 400 <laughs> I should have lost less, in all honesty. Okay, so he's dead. Noise. So we've taken Camlodunum. We could loot it, we could liberate it. We could liberate and start Britain. I could sack. Provincial instability, minus 15. Uh, I could raise it. I think we'll just sack it. Or loot and occupy. No, we'll go for sack. We'll sack it. Is there nothing else? We sacked Camelodunum. And then I may engage this force here, this minor Roman force. Beat them back. So I'm not that keen to expand to start with. 
I may take that when I have a little bit. Oh, they'll. Yeah, they're going to get the uh, the garrison if I attack them there. And Londinium. Still not a huge garrison, but that definitely. Okay. I will. I'm just going to occupy this time. So I've gone against what I said I would do and occupied it, but I want to be able to get some more troops. Even if it's just Nordic Levy. Uh, and to replenish my current ones. I want to be able to have a decent force before I could... Uh, chances are I may just completely demolish it. At the moment, I can't convert it. It's too expensive for me to convert. Did I want to waste money on that? I don't think I want to waste money on that. Um, so I'll get the troops that I need, probably leave, and maybe try and pillage Londinium. The situation over here, until Ferdum, we are constructing things that are going to take a couple of turns. So in the meantime, I might get maybe just maybe a couple of war dogs. Because I do like war dogs. Okay, so. Uh, poor morale. So I'll go for a couple of... To the tribe. In case we get any pesky people that decide to attack us, we do have a fairly strong garrison. Got the Nordic Warlord because we have that's the provincial governor there. Okay. Oh, we also have a couple of Bastion Onagers. Lovely. Okay. So I think that is. I could actually start a migration. I'm not going to. Uh, at least not yet. We have a lovely food surplus. We're powerful. Apparently. Oh, well, we're insignificant. <laughs> well, in the turn. Oh, yes. He's leveled up. Good. So he can have some zeal. Um, we'll go for the melee defense. Okay. So it looks like they've gone up to Lindum and abandoned Londinium. And if they have, that is going to be quite tempting for my force here. Death in battle. There is no finer Get a couple more of those. Or I could move on out and see what's about. Londinium appears to be ripe for the taking. Oh. They do have walls, though. Thirsty for battle. Ready for orders. Laying siege to their hovels. Okay. Well... That's only going to take... That'll take two turns. So what is that? Total labour force. Ooh! Nice. So we get some battering rams going. And uh, maybe it's just some normal ladders. Yeah, we'll get some battering rams and some normal ladders. Continue the siege. So I don't believe there is a mercenary. Well, we'll add the mercenaries to the total here. I'll burn... Camelodunum to the ground. It's only gonna. Mm. It's, it's giving me income at the minute, so I'll leave it until we've sacked Londinium. But we'll allow that to. How many turns can they hold out for? Oh, crumbs. 13. Barricades available. Well, we'll continue the siege. See if they try and relieve it. If they don't, that's going to be right for the takings in a turn or two. Woodcarver and a smithy. I think I might go for the community, actually. I'll go for this one. Roman logistics system. Okay. So, with one more end turn. 
We'll see what the Romans decide to do. If they're going to come back down with a force, then I may be screwed here, and Hengist could be on the back foot. Eastern Romans, what are you doing? Westerns? Oh! No! Okay. I think they might actually let me take Londinium. I'll probably just sack it. Oh! Well, thank you, Angles. Thank you. Okay, so, Elsa has leveled up. There's a food shortage. Oh, a good winter in Britannia Superior. That's what you love to see. Can we get decent units here yet? We can get Saxon spears, Saxon mounted warbands. Never heard to have a bit of cab. Um, right. Trying to think, what would be my next move? I imagine checking on the status of the siege. Okay, I'll leave it another turn. Oh, settlement strength is slowly being reduced. I love a list off. Just double check my diplomatic. Mm, you don't hate me anymore. We will speak together. No. How about just non-aggression? Oh well. How rude, sir. How rude. I believe. Elsa. You can also level up, sir. We'll go down the food route for you. They're very happy until Thurlum. Okay, well. I'm going to end part one here. Many thanks again to CA for allowing me to release this a little bit early. Uh, if you have enjoyed the episode, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and all that jazz, spreading the campaign around. Hopefully next time we'll have a nice siege of Londinium. We've taken Camelodunum, let's see what else the Saxons can do. Until next time everyone, I wish you a very, very good day.